I'm standing in front of one of the most beautiful homes in Australia. Its garden is absolutely magnificent. And like all gardens, and just like you and me really, it needs the nourishment of fertilizer. But for Christ's sakes, don't let anyone tell you there's no variety. Spread before me here is a veritable vista of animal droppings. From the bum of the humble chicken, right through over here to the crack of the horse. There's an excrement to suit everybody's taste. Even the boutique markets are catered for with this prawn poo. Look at that. It's beautiful, that is. Absolutely beautiful. Fine, almost invisible slivers of manure extricated from the intestines of shrimp just prior to cooking. At $400 a kilo, it's expensive, but the plants love it. And so do I. What are you doing? <laughs> So the man of the nursery said I should repot all my indoor plants. Well, the man from the nursery is bloody lag, isn't he? There's nothing wrong with these plants that a good pile of shit won't cure. <laughs> Just a few scoops is all I need. Look at that. Look at that. He loves it. All right, whilst he's gone, here's something that really gets my gander up and gets my goat at the same time. This poor, undernourished chair. I'm getting one of my blinding headaches just thinking about the neglect that this poor thing is having to endure. This little plant seems to be saying to me, Peter, Peter, spread the entire contents of your manure sack all over me now. <laughs> yes, I say, who am I to argue? So there you go, fella. Have some there. Look at that. He's loving it and he's very, very happy indeed. And who wouldn't be? A little bag full there, and that's absolutely good. <laughs> absolutely mad. It's important, I think, to remember that without the nutrients from manure, all living things will remain stunted and small forever. So it's up to us to make sure they grow up big and strong. <laughs> <laughs> I was in my mate's house the other day.